First, let me explain what this diagram shows. These vertical lines with arrows on each end are the lenses. The small f's represent the focal lengths on each side of the lens. And then these tiny arrows represent the object. It's the simplest way to do it. On each of these diagrams, I'm going to draw a guide ray. The guide rays will help us to locate the position and size of the image. The first ray that I draw will go from the object parallel to the principal axis until it hits the lens. Once it goes through the lens, it will pass through the focal point. There you see the finished ray. The second ray goes through the optical centre of the lens. Any ray that passes through the optical centre is not refracted and continues straight. The final guide ray is the opposite to the top one. Draw the line from the object through the focal point hitting the lens. A ray that passes through the focal point on its way to the lens will be refracted so that it travels parallel to the principal axis when it emerges. Here we have our final three guidelines. What does that mean? Well it means that we can construct ray diagrams and predict where the image is going to end up. Here we have our object, our focal lengths labelled and our lens. So I'll try by firstly drawing the first guide ray and see where it ends up. Okay, but that doesn't tell me anything except that it must be in this area here. So let's draw the second guide ray, the one that goes through the optical centre. Where they cross, here, this is where the image will be formed. 